Welcome to this week's episode of Canvas Killer Critiques. You guessed it, I'm Canvas. And today we are going to discuss one of, if not my favorite portrait artist, hands down. Um, this guy is uh, is otherworldly when it comes to portraiture. And, um, you know, that comes from someone who started off doing portraits when I was uh, very young, maybe around like 14 years old. And I would do a lot of caricatures of my friends. And, uh, and so, yeah, like I, I enjoy doing portraits uh, because to me, they feel very conversational. I feel as though I'm having a conversation with the person that I'm drawing, and especially when I get to the eyes, and you really start to see that person's personality and their features really come to a head. And so I've always been fascinated with portraits, and I have not seen portraits done as well as this gentleman has done them. And so without any further ado, I'm going to minimize my uh video uh so you can see the portrait that's behind because this shit is it's phenomenal just a sec all right so let me move myself out of the way a little bit boom all right <laughs> yo this is wild look at this this is wild so again this artist's name is paul daniels and I can't even remember when I came across this young man's Instagram, though I'm very glad that I did. And um, wow, like I'm, I've already seen this photo mad times. And every time I look at his work, I'm impressed as though it's my first time seeing it. And so, you know, we have a portrait of the, the late, great Nipsey Hussle. Um, our homie Ermius, I believe his name is pronounced. And what it is that, that Paul is able to do and to portray in portraiture, uh, I don't see done at this level of accuracy and, and vibrancy. I don't see it done often. So we're going to make sure this brother get his flowers today, man, as, um, as I critique this piece. All right, so... The very first thing that stands out to me, I say the very first two things are the beard and uh, Nipsey's eyes, right? Um, Nipsey, his eyes have always reminded me of like an elder's eyelids. Like they just look mad heavy, right? The man just looked like he's seen a lot and processed a lot. And uh, I'll zoom in even for you all. But um, <clears throat> the way that he's able to capture these features, and you can even see by the brush strokes that are used, that I'm assuming that this is a, a fairly small brush that all these different colors are being laid down with. And... Um, I'm not certain whether this is acrylic or oil paint. Um, I'm almost certain that he actually posts the medium used on his Instagram. Um, though I know in, in more pieces than not, acrylic is used in the way that Paul treats it. It very well looks like oil paints. And uh, secondly, this, this beard, man. Like, the fact that it's so full visually with different colors. I'm seeing some blues. I'm seeing some violets there. You know, of course, some browns, some some blacks are there. And it goes out into this highlight of this, uh, like, frost blue, if you will, along, um, like, the outermost part of the beard that's, that's catching light. And, yo, like, this, this portrait, man... It just looks very distinguished. It's very distinguished, man. Like, there are certain times where I look 
at a portrait and I immediately hear the person's voice, who the portrait is of. And, and man, he did such a phenomenal job with even the, the, the suggested light, which is, you know, right. Um, well, as we're looking at it, it's over the right side of, of the portrait above, um, you know, that eyebrow and on the side of his face. And man, yo, this is this is one of the better rendered portraits of someone that I've I've seen in a very long time. And um I really appreciate the aesthetic because overall uh, visually, at least, the way that the brush strokes are applied, everything looks very gritty or very coarse to the touch. It almost uh, reads to me like like a stone wash jean. Um, though, it, the application of the strokes, you know, juxtaposed with what I know this person's face to look like. Um, it's very impressive because for myself, at least when I'm doing portraiture, especially if I'm doing a portrait of a woman, so not necessarily in this case, though I am hyper aware to smooth out my strokes and to expand them over a large area so that anything that could even be read as being coarse or creating texture on the surface of someone's face, that that doesn't exist, right? And so the fact that Paul goes into portraiture and essentially creates texture and creates this coarseness and grit without compromising without compromising either the complexion or the um, the aesthetic uh beauty of somebody's face is really uh phenomenal to me and um wow yeah I'm gonna speak this into existence man you have to Mr. Paul you got to do some portraiture for me man I, I I definitely see a very regal um photo rendered of myself and, and my future wife in our home because this is this is amazing um and so yeah man what, I, what i'm gonna do now is just you know uh get you all familiar i've put his instagram at the bottom of this page please go check this dude out every portrait that he does he smashes it and he has hundreds of portraits uh on his page uh dating back multiple years so um, I definitely consider this guy a master at portraiture, and um, every time he posts, I'm I'm excited to see how he's rendered somebody, and I zoom in and I enjoy the detail um, because he he paints phenomenal portraits, and so yeah, check this guy out, man. Again, this is Will Porter. Uh, I want to definitely. Pay tribute to the brands that I'm wearing today. This hat, this beanie, one of my favorite beanies. I wear it pretty often. Uh, by my good, my good brothers at Nine Supply. You can check them out at the number nine supply. dot com. I'll make sure I put this inside of the um, the video description. And the hoodie that I'm wearing, I look really good in orange. Was made by my good friend Lee Boss of Lee Ball Styles. And uh, I'm not certain if you can actually see the text, but it says God's favorite, um, which I definitely am. So I'll post that info within the description as well so you can support these black businesses. And yeah, yo, um, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Canvas Killer Critiques, where we talked about the great Paul Daniels. Definitely one of the goats. Um, for whatever that's worth coming from someone such as myself. All right, word, yo. I'm not going to hold up too much more of your time. Thank you for tuning in and be on the lookout for next week's episode. Peace.